have already got started on supper tonight and what I'm gonna make is spaghetti squash spaghetti. I've already baked my spaghetti squash. I went ahead and I cut it open. I took all the seeds out and then I put some olive oil on the outside of it and I turned it face down on a cookie sheet and put it in the oven for 45 minutes. I've got two pounds of ground turkey on the stove top and I put it in a big pot because we are going to make a spaghetti sauce. I haven't drained the fat off of this ground turkey yet, but I'm going to go ahead and add some bell pepper and some onion. I've already diced that up to make this video a little quicker. I've got half of a yellow onion and about a third of a yellow bell pepper. You can use green, whatever color you like, and I'm going to add that to my turkey my ground turkey. And I'm going to put a lid on this for just a few moments and let those onions and bell peppers get really nice and soft there. I'm gonna bring this spaghetti squash a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. And you just wanna pull it out with your fork around the sides there. You can see it. So it really is that easy. You can use ground beef if you want to. You can uh, you certainly use ground turkey, it's great. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my cans. I'm gonna drain the fat off of this turkey and I'll be right back. Here. So what I'm gonna be using is one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Go ahead and pour those in. And now I'm gonna use some diced tomatoes. I've got a 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I need my glasses. Add about four teaspoons of oregano. And I'm just using a regular spoon here because I don't measure a lot, but I'm gonna do about four teaspoons. And now I'm going to use some basil and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do about one teaspoon of basil. Okay. Yeah. Now I've got some minced garlic and I'm going to use about two teaspoons of minced garlic. Oh, it smells so good. Now we're gonna cook this on low for about five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna clean up my mess because I always make such a huge mess and I'll be right back. Let's just taste this and see what it tastes like. Mm. It's just perfect, absolutely perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this spaghetti squash and I'm just going to drop it in here. And you want to kind of watch for seeds. Uh, sometimes you may not get all of the seeds out. Yum. Look at that. Okay, so I think just half of this spaghetti squash is all the spaghetti I need in here. For me and my husband, we don't like more spaghetti squash than the meat sauce. What I am gonna do is take all the spaghetti out of this one and I'm gonna freeze it. I'm gonna let this simmer for 20 minutes. Now we're going to put this in the spaghetti squash. I'm gonna bring it over here so you can see what I'm doing. I've made a huge, huge mess. Now we're just gonna pack these full. 
maybe a little more on the end here. Okay, pop this with some mozzarella. Yum! Have any of you ever had spaghetti squash? If not, you should try it, it's really good. So I'm gonna let this bake for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Yum, 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 yum. These look so good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. This is really good. Mm-hmm. You might want to try this. I could have put it in a prettier dish for you, but this is all I had handy at the moment. And, mm, 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 mm. This is really good. So if you wanted to make some a dish to impress somebody, this would be great. But honestly, you can just pull that spaghetti squash spaghetti out of that spaghetti squash. <laughs> and just make spaghetti. It's really good.